A shocking story out of Indiana. A 94-year-old World War II veteran savagely beaten during a home invasion. His neighbors in the small town of Arcadia are outraged, as you would imagine. A warning, though. You're about to see some pictures of Bud Moore before, but also after the assault. And the pictures are disturbing. Here it is. With a population of less than 2,000, people here in Arcadia tell us 94-year-old Herschel Moore is well-known. He's an old, bullheaded gentleman that, that's just a fixture here and drives his golf cart around and just an all-around nice guy. Here's a picture of Moore, or Bud as many people call him, taking part in a recent parade. The community was recognizing him for being one of Hamilton County's oldest living war veterans. But it's this picture of Moore that has people upset. Whoever the worthless character did it just needs to make sure the police take him in custody. Because there's a lot of people around here that wouldn't take too kindly to know who, who the person is first. Authorities say Thursday around midnight, two masked men broke into Moore's house. They tied him up, beat him, and got away with a large sum of money. But not before they ransacked his home. It's sick. It's very, very sick. He, if he was untied, he probably couldn't defend himself. He, he's, after all, 94. Nathan Hoffman has known Bud for most of his life. He started a Justice for Bud Facebook page. Especially being, you know, somebody who was a vet to be gone through what he has, it just made me very upset that it didn't get very much attention. Hoffman hopes the Justice for Bud page brings just that by generating tips for investigators and raising money for a reward for information leading to an arrest. It was just a senseless act. Bud would have gave them anything they wanted. It is so devastating seeing those pictures. Our thanks to affiliate WRTV for that story, that update. You saw that his friends have started that Facebook group called Justice for Bud. On there, plenty of people offer their prayers, their thoughts, like this one from Colleen. She, she says, my thoughts and prayers are with Mr. Moore. God bless this American hero. I pray for justice for Bud. And many want to help. Christian writes this, I would like to donate my time for Bud, help him around the house, let him rest, and even just keep him company. My grandfather was a World War II vet also, and I would just like to give thanks to the hero and his brother in arms. I, it would be an honor to be involved with this. Bringing back defense attorney Joey Jackson and also joining us by phone is the town's deputy, uh, Brian Oram. Deputy, I'll start with you on this. This home invasion really affected a lot of people, as you know yourself included, as you saw on Facebook. Uh, why do you think that the people are so outraged, besides the obvious, that this was a gentleman who was loved by so many in your town? Well, that is a large part of it. Uh, Hamilton County is a very close community, and these types of incidents just are very infrequently, uh, happen very infrequently in our county. So the combination of um, the infrequency of the event and the fact that we've got a decorated World War II veteran uh, that everybody knows and loves just makes this case that much bigger. Any leads on this? What's the latest in the investigation here? Well, we've been fielding tips and information that people have been calling in. Uh, Arcadia is a very small town where everybody knows each other pretty much. Um, so people who have noticed um, just unusual occurrences or unusual people in town have been giving us tips and calls. So we're trying to follow up on all those leads. It sounds like there are so many people involved in that small town. Joey, on the Justice for Bud Facebook page, there are also people who want to take justice into their own hands. Let's read a few together. Matt writes this, can't wait for the blanks who have done this. I can't wait till they get caught. They better hope the police get to them before I or the rest of us on this page do. And Mika writes, they better catch those punks and do something with them before the public does. I'd be more than happy to serve some karma. So Joey, as mad as everyone is, it's a small town. They're rallying around this true hero, but vigilante justice, not the way to go. It isn't, Susan. You know, people are rightfully outraged and concerned, and you figure a small community, everyone has each other's backs, and things like this should not occur, and it's inappropriate, you know, and unlawful for it to occur anywhere. But when it occurs here, there's, of course, outrage by the community. But taking it into your own hands, of course, you can be charged with criminal offenses yourself. It's not the way to go. And so vent your frustration. I get it. But let the police do their job, Susan. And deputy, is there anything you'd like to say to kind of calm down the small town that really wants to do something about this? Well, I would just echo the same sentiment that taking justice into your own hands is not a good idea. 
we do have uh, several investigators working on this. If you do have information, we would ask you to give us a call at uh, area code 317-773-1282 and give us uh, time to do our job and, and let us get these guys. And we'll put that number, if you missed it, up on our Facebook page. Deputy Orem, will you keep us posted on this investigation? Absolutely. We appreciate your help. Thanks so much.